from the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City. It's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump Card, Jimmy Sapolo. Joining us for Trunk Part, everyone. We're here at the fabulous Trunk Castle in Atlantic City, where competition is king, and we have three contestants who are ready to challenge each other today for over $15,000 in cash and a chance to win $100,000 in the Trump Card Championship. So let's play Trump Card. Before we meet today's players, please say hello to our Trump Card hostess, Miss Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. Now let's meet today's players, contestant number one from Ocean City, New Jersey, Dan Matthews, who works as a cook. Dan, what's the difference between a, a cook and a chef? A uh, chef usually has professional training. Well, I bet your food is just every bit as good. I think so. Do you have a favorite dish that you cook? Not really. Not really? Everything is just about good enough, I guess. Everything's huh? excellent. Too. All right, good, Dan. Good luck to you. And Brett Shade, mm -hmm. I'm glad I got that one right, from Walton, New Jersey, a, a student at uh, Rutgers, majoring in... Uh, graduate school in history. In history. What do you want to do with your, your degree? I'm going to get a Ph.D. in American history and become a Civil War historian. Oh, great. Terrific. Good luck to you, Brett. And Tom Clark from Sewell, New Jersey, married with three children. Yes, Tell sir. us about your kids, Tom. Well, one of them is in the audience right now, Andrea. I can't see her out there, and I have two that are in school. Okay, what's the age range? Uh, 22, 18, and 11. You're too young to have someone 22 years of I, age, Tom. I, I am afraid you're right. Some <laughs> of the panelists are... All right, good luck on the like show. That. Here's how we play the game. Each of the contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. First player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 trump card bonus. And don't forget, our studio audience will be playing along on their own trump card. Every time a contestant answers a question correctly, our audience members will cover the corresponding number on their card. So good luck, contestants, and to our audience members as well. Now, players, you can win round number one and $750 in cash for being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are trains, maiden names, Simeon Says, our category that's all about apes, Who Done It? We'll describe a crime. You tell us who done it. Each category contains four questions, and if you give me a right answer, we'll cover a corner on your card and give you the right to choose the next category. If you give me a wrong answer, we will block you out of that very next question. Brett, you uh, won the draw backstage, so please begin for us. Well, we'll go ladies first. Maiden names, please. All right, here we go. Before she married Franklin Roosevelt, what was Eleanor's maiden name? Dan. Longworth. No, sorry, it was Roosevelt. They were actually distant cousins. You're blocked out of the next question, and we continue on to Simeon Says. It was a comedy about a professor who treats a chimpanzee as his child for a heredity experiment. Name this 1951 Ronald Reagan film. Tom? Bedtime for Bonzo. That is correct. We cover number 31. Dan, you're back in. Tom, you choose for us, please. Oh, how about uh, Who Done It? All righty, here we go. In one of Shakespeare's tragedies, the lovely Desdemona is killed by her husband. Who Done It? Brett? Othello. Othello is correct. Yes, we cover number 16 on your card. Uh, let's go back to maiden names, please. When she married per, uh, Percy Shelley, Mary Shelley's maiden name became her middle name. What was it? Dan? Liss. No, sorry. Wollstonecraft is the correct answer, and you're blocked out of the next question. We continue on with Simeon Says. Sigourney Weaver won critical acclaim for her film portrayal of a real-life anthropologist in the movie Gorillas in the Mist. Name the character she played. Brett. Fossey? Yes, Diane Fossey is correct to cover number 20 on your card. Dan, you're back in. I'm going to keep going with maiden names until I get one right. All right, here we go. Before she walked the line with Johnny Cash, what was June's maiden name, Dan? Carter. Carter is correct. You're on the board for the first time. We cover number one on your card. Who done it, Jimmy? Who done it? The category. Here we go. In the novel Tom Sawyer, Tom and Huck are trying to cure warts with a dead cat when they accidentally witness a murder. Who done it? Tom? Injun Joe. Injun Joe is correct. Yes, we cover number 35. We've got a tie between Brett and Tom. How about trains? In 1971, the National Railroad Passenger Corporation began operations. What is, it, is its more familiar name? Tom. Conrail. No, sorry, Amtrak, the ah. correct answer. You block out of the next question. We continue on with maiden names. Her marriage to Lee being a major disappointment, Farrell went back to her maiden name. What is it? Brett? Fawcett. Fawcett is correct. Yes, one more correct answer. Brett, we'll give you the money. Um, 
Who done it, Jimmy? Who done it? The category. Tom, you're back in. According to one legend, the villainous Sir Mordred seized his uncle's throne and was later killed by that uncle in battle. Who done it? Tom. King Arthur. That is correct. Yes, we cover number 41. Now the tie between uh, Tom and Brett again. Okay. How about trains again? Keep doing it until we get it right. Absolutely. <laughs> Beginning in 1902, this deluxe train of the New York Central ran between the Big Apple and Chicago. Name this limited line. Tom for the win. 20th Century Limited. That is correct. Congratulations, Tom. That is all four corners and 750 bucks in cash, but it was a well-played first round. We will double the money in round number two to $1,500 in just a moment. All right, thanks, Debbie. Tom Clark has $750 in cash. Now we move to round number two. And players, one of you will win $1,500 in cash if you become the first to cover the five numbers across your center line. And right now, Debbie is giving each of you a special trump card. Beginning with this round, players, you can use this card to block the progress of one of your opponents. Now, you only have one card. We've got two rounds to go. And you can only play it after you give me a correct answer, all right? And uh, have a good time with it. Use it as you need it. Now, if you don't use this card, go to the bonus round with it then you will receive an extra advantage. Here are the categories for round number two, and they are one-word book titles, Motown, the 80s, and You Can Call Me Ray, people and things with Ray in their name. Each category contains five questions, and Tom, since you won the first round, please choose for us. How about You Can Call Me Ray? You Can Call Me Ray, and here we go. In 1954, he franchised a fast food restaurant from two California brothers, and over the years created an entire McLanguage. Name him, Dan. Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc is correct. Yeah, we cover number six on your card. Uh, Motown, Jimmy. Their string of 12 number one hits began in 1964 with Where Did Our Love Go? and ended in 1969 with Someday We'll Be Together. Who are they, Brett? The Supremes. Supremes is correct, yes. Uh, you can call me Ray, Jim. When she admitted to being paid for sexual favors from government coffers, this blonde bombshell ended the political career of Ohio Congressman Wayne Hayes. Name her. Dan. Elizabeth Ray. That is correct. Yes, we cover number seven. Motown again, please, Jimmy. What Motown group combined slick choreography with the soulful voices of David Ruffin and Eddie Kendricks? Dan. Temptation. Yeah, we cover number eight on your card. Good start for you in this round. Two more answers. We'll give you $1,500, Dan. Let's go back to Motown again. In 1965 alone, this group's hits included... It's the same old song, Ask the Lonely, and I Can't Help Myself. Name this fabulous, Dan? The Four Tops. Foursome. The Four Tops is correct. One more answer, Dan. We'll give you the cash in the round. Let's stick with Motown. You like this one, don't you? You're doing yeah. well in it. Mercy, Mercy Me. If you haven't heard it through the grapevine, he was the first artist to have complete artistic control at Motown. Name him, Brett. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye is correct, yes. Uh, one more book titles. First time in the category. This celebrated astronomer and writer might have hoped his 1985 science fiction novel, Contact, would sell billions and billions of copies. Name him, Tom. Carl Sagan. That is correct, and you're on the board in this round. Thank you. Oh, Choose next round. Uh, uh, how about the 80s? All right, first time in this category. When he announced his candidacy for the Democratic presidential nomination in 1983, he became the first former astronaut to seek the office. Name him, Brett. Glenn. Yes, John Glenn, the correct answer. Um, the 80s again. In 1987, used car dealer turned politician Evan Meekham was impeached as governor of this state. Name the state for the win, Dan. Arizona. Yes, Arizona's correct. Congratulations. All right, Tom, you were the winner in round number one, so we've got uh, 750 bucks for you. Thank you. Thank and Dan, you. Uh, you had a slow start, but you did real well in that second round. Motown was great for you, wasn't it? Do you like music? Yes, sir. Big music fan. All right, well, it paid off because it's $1,500 worth. Brett? You played well, too. And we've got lots of money back on the board. And round number three, we'll double the prize money again to $3,000. Welcome back. It's round three of Trump Card. And here's Jimmy Cephalo. 
we're beginning to spread the money around, and you've got 1500 bucks. Tom, you've got 750 Who knows, Brett, maybe by the end of this one you've, you'll have $3,000. we will see. Players, this is the moment of truth. Round number three, $3,000 on the line, no categories. And only one of you will win and move on to the bonus round. That'll be worth $10,000, of course. Let's take a look at the scores right now. Dan, you need nine correct answers for the money. Brett, you need nine as well. And Tom, you need ten. A very close game. All right, everybody, a reminder, you still have your trump cards in front of you. Use them after you give me a correct answer in order to block an opponent. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. Used by sailors, it's a measure of speed equal to one nautical mile per hour. What is it called, Brett? Not. A knot is correct, yes. In the Jules Verne adventure, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, what captain commanded the Nautilus? Tom. Nemo. Nemo captain is correct. Nemo. As Tom and Jerry, they flopped, but eight years later, using their real names, they had a hit with Sounds of Silence. Name them. Brett. Simon and Garfunkel. That is correct. Yes, we cover number 18 on your card. In legal terminology, this five-letter term is defined as publishing a falsehood that injures someone. Name it. Dan. Libel. Libel is correct. Which Watergate conspirator wrote 54 books, many of them spy novels? Dan. Howard Hunt. Yes, E. Howard Hunt is correct. We're Jimmy, I'd like to use my trump card on Brett, please. All right, Brett, it means you need a correct answer in order to remove it. And we continue on. Here we go. Fresh from victory, Julius Caesar sent the following message to the Roman Senate. Vini, vidi, vici. What does it mean? Tom. I came, I saw, I conquered. That is correct. Yes, we cover number 33 on your card. What heavyweight chef at Cape Paul's in New Orleans might tell his customers, that's not burnt, it's blackened? Dan. Prudhomme. Yes, Paul Prudhomme is correct. Approximately 46% of the world's water is contained in this ocean. Name it, Dan. Pacific. Yes, five answers away from $3,000 for you. What member of the grasshopper family migrates in large masses and causes catastrophic crop damage? Dan. The locust. Yes, four answers away from the money. Years after the death of her husband, the former Mary Todd was committed to a private sanitarium. Who was her husband? Dan. Abraham Lincoln. He sure was three inches away from the money. A clumsy person is sometimes referred to as a bull in a what? Tom. China shop. China shop I'd is like correct. I'd like to uh, trump Dan. All right, Dan. Turn around is fair play. You need a correct answer in order to remove it. Let's recap the scores for a second. Dan, after you remove your trump card, you'll need three. Brett, after you remove yours, you'll need seven. And Tom, you need seven as well. Here we go. The tune Axel F was a featured part of the soundtrack of what 1984 feature film? Mm. Beverly Hills Cop, the correct answer. On what island is Mount Etna? Dan. Mount St. Hell. No, sorry, <laughs> Sicily, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. An example of this poetry is the fragile willow gently droops its feather head and weeps for no one. Name this unrhymed Japanese form. Tom. Haiku. Haiku is correct. Yes, we cover number 37 on your card. By what single name was 60s model Leslie Hornby known? Brett. Twiggy. Twiggy is correct. We removed the trump card from I, your I'd podium. I'd like to use my trump card on Tom, please. Oh. All right, Tom. That made you need a correct answer in order to remove it as well. Here we go. What American president also served as the president of Columbia University? Brett. Eisenhower. Yes, he did. Correct. In 1973, Egypt and Syria attacked Israel on the holiest day of the Jewish year. What holiday was it? Brett. Yom Kippur. Yes, Yom Kippur is correct. You need five answers for the cash. Some parts of this domestic machine are the feed dog, presser foot, and bobbin winder. What is it, Brett? Sewing machine. Yes, that's right. Four inches, and I'll give you $3,000. He served as Thomas Jefferson's secretary before going on an expedition with William Clark. Name him, Brett. Meriwether Lewis. That is correct. Yes, three inches away from the money. Name the ancient temple in Athens built in honor of the goddess Athena. Brett. The uh, Parthenon. That's right. You've got a run going. Two more inches. I'm going to give you $3,000. How many stories are there in the Empire State Building? 102, the correct answer. The branch of science known as thermodynamics is the study of what? Dan. Heat. Heat is correct. We removed the trump card from your podium. You need three correct answers for the money. What vegetable comes in varieties called wax, chili, and bell? Brett. Beans. Sorry, pepper, the correct mm -hmm. answer. You're blocked out of the next one. Alphabetically speaking, which state comes last? Tom. Wyoming. Wyoming is correct. We removed the trump card from your podium. You need six correct answers for the money. Brett, you're back in. What is the name of Dr. Seuss's egg-hatching elephant? Brett. Horton. Horton is correct. One more answer for the money. What were the first names of the classical comedy team Laurel and Hardy? Brett for the win. Stan and Ollie. That's correct. Congratulations, Brett. It's a good game for everybody. It worked out just the way it should. Everybody gets the money. Dan, you've got 1500 Tom, you've got 750 Brett, you've got three grand. Come on down. I'll show you how you can win some more money. Our thanks to Dan and to Tom.
I'm a big fan of yours from going way back. Oh, yeah? You're Although, a football fan, I bet. Although I'm only 21, so. <laughs> he, he was going to tell me that way to say that his, um, he's got a daughter who's um, older than I am. Older than you? I can't believe it. Tom was a good player. But the big ball in the sport is right behind you. It's worth $10,000. We'll find out if you can beat this thing and add to your total when we come back in just a moment. like tickets to see Trump Car, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Trump Car, Post Office Box 749, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 08404. Well, Brent, you've got $3,000 in your pocket already. Now we move on to the possibility of $10,000, the big board behind me. And if you do well today, you know about our Trump Car Championship later in the oh, year, <laughs> that'll be worth $100,000 to our top 21 winners buying for that total. But first things first, the big board has 21 numbers on it. If you give me a correct answer, we'll cover a number on the board. Now, Brett, the object of the game is to cover five numbers in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally by giving me correct answers. Now, if you can do that in 45 seconds or less, I'm going to give you $10,000. Fair enough? Okay. That's all right by you? Sounds great. Terrific. But first, we're going to ask Debbie to join us. She's carrying a special deck of cards. They're numbered 1 through 25. And if you please choose one, we'll cover that number up on the board. If I can get it out. <laughs> there you go. The number is 18. Thanks very much, Debbie. All right, now you've got a free number on the board. You've got 45 seconds on the clock. Call out a number, and I'll ask a question. If you miss or if you answer incorrectly, we will cover that number, block it, and you'll have to start a new line. Let's talk strategy for just a moment. From the 18, you can go straight up the pike or across with it. Right now, you do not have the diagonal, but that may occur as the game progresses, so keep it in the back of your mind. Remember, if you don't call out a number, I can't ask a question. So please remember to do so. Uh, we will not start the clock until I begin the first question. Are you all set? Mm -hmm. All right, then, Brett, give me a number. 13. What jet black wood was once used to make keys on a piano? Ebony. Correct. 8. What philosopher made the famous assertion, I think, therefore I am? Aristotle. Very wrong. Uh, 19. Name the playwright who wrote Hedda Gabler. Um, Ibsen. Correct. 25. What animal was on the back of an Indian head nickel? Buffalo. Correct. 7. What Confederate general wrote a horse named Traveler? Stewart. Very wrong. Uh, 14. Name the African country whose capital is Addis Ababa. Ethiopia. Correct. 12. In physics, what is the point on which a lever turns? Pendulum. Sir, wrong. 9. On August 15, 1914, what waterway was finally opened? Suez Canal. Sir, wrong. Uh, 17. Name the lightweight metal whose chemical symbols... Aluminum. Sorry, T.I. Go ahead. Um, 20, 22. What is... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's not much you can do, but... She shouted out aluminum. You had not got the letters out yet, but she did so well. $3,000. And this board is awfully tough. Yeah, you got to catch your breath. I'll catch mine. We'll come back in a moment to sum it all up. Stay tuned, everybody. Today's contestants will receive Travel Savers Hotel Directory, discounts from the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. 1-800-726-SAVE. Fred Shade from Mamalt, New Jersey, has won $3,000. We can't give you the ten grand for the bonus uh, round, but you did real well in the game anyway. Here's uh, the questions you got wrong. On August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal was opened. The lightweight metal, whose chemical symbol is TI, was titanium. You yelled out aluminum before we got to the TI part, but the clock was running down. You could have taken a guess. Anyway. That's right. <laughs> well, you never know. Titanium TI. In physics, what is the point on which a lever turns? It's a fulcrum. What Confederate general rode a horse named Traveler? Robert E. Lee. And what philosopher uh, made the famous assertion, I think, therefore I am? Descartes. Descartes, of course. Rene Descartes. I remember him well. The correct answer. <laughs> I remember him well. We were old buddies. Well, Brett, $3,000 you have. Good luck with the money. I guess it'll come okay. in handy in your uh, yeah, tuition. Hurt. You got it. When will you think you'll get your doctor? When are you going to finish it all up? Um, give me six years. Six years? Spread the 3000 thinly then, okay? Good luck <laughs> yeah. to you. Thanks for coming on the program. Bye -bye. For Debbie Massey, I'm Jimmy Steffel. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody.
you plan to be in the Atlantic City area and want to be a contestant on Trump Card, call us at 609-340-5000. a production of Createl Limited and Fiedler Berlin Productions in association with Telepictures Productions and is distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution.